In this video, I'm going to show you how to use CSS border color so you can change the color of your borders. And with CSS3, you can change each border individually so you can have four different colors on a box with four sides. And we're getting started right now. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from Higher Learning Lab, where we help you code better so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. And if it's your first time here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome tutorials. And with that out of the way, let's head into this screen capture tutorial so I can show you how to define the colors on your borders. I'll see you there. So let's hop right in and take a look. On the left-hand side, I have a very basic layout of an HTML page. I have a div with an alert box with a warning message and I have my styles directly hard coded into the header. And what we have is a bunch of CSS that defines the appearance of this box over here, including a border color of red. Now for border colors or any color in CSS, you may or may not know that you can use a hex code, an RGB code, or just a word. And most modern browsers recognize up to 140 different words. So you can get a long ways just by using the word. In this example, we're just gonna carry on using the words for the colors. So with a border color of red, if you enter only a single entry, you're gonna have all of the borders be the same color. And what we can do is we can add more colors. So if we go red and blue, save the page, refresh the page, we see that now the top is red, the bottom is red, and the left and right sides are blue in color. We can add another one. Let's add black. So now we'll have three colors. And what's interesting is now the top is red, the bottom is black, and both of the left and right sides are still blue. Now if we add another entry, let's add uh, magenta. Doesn't recognize that actually, it's not one of the words. Actually, no, it is. There, that, that border turned to magenta, you can barely see it. It looks pretty red. But if I zoom in, now we see we have red on the top, blue on the right, black on the bottom, almost looks like just a dark gray, and then magenta on the left. And that is how simple it is to select multiple border colors for your divs or whatever else you want to use them for. And it's really powerful. CSS3 makes it really easy, and you should definitely, definitely check it out. And that's all there is to defining the border colors using the CSS border color property. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell icon so you notify and publish more awesome tutorials. And check out on the left hand, on the right hand side actually, all these other videos and resources that you can check out to learn to code better. I encourage you to check them out right now. And until next time, keep crushing it and I'll see you in the next video.